Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will show you some of the new trading post items that you will be able to get in the War Within. And I will also share with you a few more information about the War Within and about some of the over cool rewards you will be able to get during this expansion. So first, we have a few items that are from the Plunderstorm universe and these are all recorders. So first, we have this really cool set. This is obviously a recorded version of the pirate set you were able to get from Plunderstorm. And I think this is a really nice set overall. So this is the orange slash yellow and blue green set that I think looks really nice. I do see why a few people have complained a little bit so far that we're going to be able to get a similar set through the trading post when a lot of people had to farm a lot during Plunderstorm in order to get the original set. But again, keep in mind, the color scheme is completely different. The other one was red. This one is orange. And I think it's still a nice thing that players were maybe not able to play during Thunderstorm will still be able to get one of these really cool and high res pirate sets. And also, again, maybe it's for the best that you're not going to have to play a second season of Thunderstorm and have to farm in order to get this new set. So at least this is something you will be able to get from the training post. And as you can see, this is something you will be able to buy for 750 traders tenders. And next to that, you will also have all the different weapons that normally you are able to get through Thunderstorm. And you will be able to buy some of these different recorded versions, again, for probably around 150 tenders each. And I think these, again, look pretty okay. They're not my favorite. I think the set is really nice. The weapons are not that incredible. But still, you will be able to get that in the War Ribbon. After that, we have a few unused weapons that were from previous expansions and you will not be able to buy them from the training post. So as you can see, first we have this crossbow right here. Then we also have this staff right here. We then have this warglaive right here and then these two swords. So some of them are from different expansions. For instance, this one is from Wrath of the Lich King. These ones are from the Burning Crusade. This one is most definitely from Legion, and this one is from Classico. And I wonder if maybe during the War Within, Blizzard is finally planning to release all the different recorded weapons that we've data mended recently from the Burning Crusade and also from a few other expansions. And maybe potentially they're planning to add them as rewards from the trading post, or as we've seen with also Mr. Panera Remix, maybe they're planning to at some point have one of these The Burning Crusade Remix, and you will be able to buy all these different or to get all these different recorded versions during this event. But nonetheless, all I know is that some of the different swords that were that I minded as part of this list of items are now gonna be released through the trading post. And so, in my opinion, they're probably gonna do something a little bit in between and try to re-add a lot of these unused versions to the training post in the War Within. And then, of course, maybe they will decide to do the same with all the recorded versions of the Tier 2 sets that, again, were that I minded a few months ago. And who knows, this is either something that, again, will be available through another classic remix or something like that, or through the training post. So then next to that, we have a few other items that in my opinion are not so exciting. So for instance, here, as you can see, we have another one of these different sets, uh, which this time is just the gray version. Uh, so really not that exciting or maybe like very, very dark or not so colorful green. Uh, but this is again something that you will be able to get in the War Within. And then we also have a recolored version of the Frenzied Hat of the Murky Waters. And as you can see, again, this time, this is a brownish hat. And again, this is just a recorded version. So nothing too exciting here. One important thing to note is that we were also able to data mine all the future main themes for all the different months for the training post. And so as you can see, normally this will be uh, the whole planning for the War Within. So first we'll have forward progression in January then Moonlit Magnificent in February, then Sparkless and Flare in March, then Fair Game in April, Critter Country in May, Burning Hearts in June, Forsaken Memories in July, 
Ever or in August, Dwarven Charm in September, Fell Festivities in October, Bountiful Gifts in November, and Frozen Arts in December. So most likely, again, I think it can give a good idea of what are going to be some of the main rewards that we can expect during this different month. But I think it's pretty interesting that we already have the names for all these different training posts month. And yeah, let's see what rewards we will be able to get each time. Then after that, we have a few more interesting items that again will be added into the game through the training post in the War Within. As you can see, first we have one of these little pets right here, which I don't really think anyone really cares at this point, especially because we've had quite a lot of these little crabs with the crown, so this one is not super exciting. But then some that are really, really interesting are these different Thunderlords Crocolisks mounts and these ones are really really cool and as you can see normally you will be able to buy them for 600 traders tenders each and so these ones are basically some crocodilisks that have some gold on them with the seat and everything and I think this mount is actually really really nice so as you can see we have over variations for this one but I do think the first one is definitely my favorite one and so normally you will be able to get them through the training post or also maybe through other means. Uh, but I really think these ones look super, super cool. And then next to that, we also have just these different boots right here. Uh, and as you can see, these are really just uh, like basically snake boots, something like that. So nothing too crazy, but this is one of the items that you will be able to get for 40 tenders. And so these are not really too expensive, let's say. So that's pretty much it for all the different items that we know so far will be added to the training post in the War Within. But next to that, I just want to show you two other items that are really cool and that were also that I minded recently and that again, you will be able to get in the War Within. The first one is the new Keystone Master Mount for season one of the War Within. And as you can see, this is this diamond mecha suit. And so this mount, in my opinion, is really, really cool. And this is something again you will be able to get as the Keystone Master Achievement Reward. And so this is of course a flying mount. And as you can see, this is a pretty cool mount again, and something that hopefully you will be able to get during the first season. Keep in mind, this one will be removed after that. So if you like it, try to get it when it's on. And then the other item that I think is really nice as well is this new toy, the Cave Spellunker's Torch. And as you can see, basically, you will be able to use it at any time. And then your character will hold the torch like that. And it will create a light around you. So this is very similar, for instance, to some of the different mobs in the game that have torches as well. So I think this is something that will be super nice, especially for people who like to do a little bit of role playing and everything and a really cool toy that again you will be able to get in the war within so that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you enjoyed let's see what other items we will be able to get through the training post in the war within but right now i'm already happy with some of these different thunderstorm rewards that will be re-added through the training post i will be back very soon with more guides and more videos and in the meantime i wish you all a great day bye